Hey guys, this is Jenna. Here's an updated tutorial using iOS 13 on how to download and unzip a card pack. Now we're going to navigate to a website I'm familiar with and I'm on the Celine Studio website and I'm on her freebies tab. I'm going to scroll down and use this card pack right here. <clears throat> so I can tap on it right there and I'm going to tap right here on the download now button and then you'll see this pop up. If it's a single card, sometimes the word view in blue will be right here next to download and you can tap view and then download the single cards just straight to your camera roll. But if it's a zip file, you have to do a little more work. So watch right there. You see that blue progress bar go across the bottom there and then that arrow jumped a little bit. That means it's loaded and now you can tap on it and tap on the zip file. When this pops up, you'll tap on that to unzip it and your cards will be inside this folder. You can, from here, excuse me, you can select, select them all, or you can just tap on individual cards to download and you can tap down here in the bottom left and save the images to your camera roll. You don't have to do that, but you can, and I'll show you why in just a minute. You can leave them right here as is. I'm gonna go back a screen. And sometimes I even delete this zip file. Um, sometimes I move it over into the folder, but you have some options here. So be sure to press and hold and see what you can do there. Don't be afraid to tap on things, especially if it's a freebie that you can get again. You know, just experiment, tap on things, and don't be afraid to figure stuff out. Um, so now let's try to add some of these cards to a page now that I downloaded them. And, and if you ever wanna navigate back to them outside of using the Project Life app, this is the this is what you're looking for on an iOS device. It's the Files app. So let's open up a page in the Project Life app. And now we're going to use the photo picker, not the card picker. This will only take you to the card packs that the Project Life app offers. Any other card packs you buy elsewhere, you're going to have to bring in through the photo picker and use the freeform text option to journal on them. Now the reason why I might add them to my camera roll is because it's very easy for iOS users to tap on a pocket, <laughs> excuse me, tap on a pocket, tap on a card, tap on a pocket, tap on a card, tap on a pocket, add a photo. Um, Android users I don't think can do that quite yet. I say yet in hopes that it will come to you. But if you wanna just leave them in your iCloud You'll get to them by tapping on cloud, tapping browse, and then you might always wanna tap browse at the bottom to see all these options pop up. Now they'll be in here, but a quicker way to access them will be just to tap on this download button, tap there and add a card, okay? So sometimes when you close that page, and you go work on something else and you come back to it, these outside cards, they'll just be like a gray placeholder. They won't actually show up sometimes. And of course it's a glitch that just happens randomly and when I want it to, it won't happen. But all you gotta do is open the page and then close it again and, and they'll be there. So be sure to do that before you try to export a page. Make sure all the cards show up in your library preview, okay? It's, it's a weird glitch. Let me navigate to the group and show you something else really quickly. Um, let's see, so I'm gonna just come to, let me get to the group. I posted this link and I wanna show you how to get to it from social media apps. So you're gonna need to click on the link and then you're always gonna need to be in the habit of tapping on those three dots and opening in Safari before you try to download. So now you'll be able to download. So let's go through it again. I'm gonna click on the download button, but I want, again, I want you to watch right up here where this blue arrow is. So I tapped on the download button and now it's loading. Okay, so make sure you see that happen and you'll have it in your files app. If you have any other questions about this, let me know. As we use the app and get more familiar with it, this will all get very easy. So I hope that helped a little bit and you guys have a great day. Bye.